This is quite an interesting video because in this video, I'm going to review one of your Shopify stores that you sell print on demand products, drop shipping products, that kind of stuff. I thought I would make this video for everyone instead of just making it for that one person because there is so much in this video that you can all learn from. There's a lot of areas where I feel like you may be in the same boat and you can improve on. So basically what this video is, is I'm gonna be doing a screen flow of his website and I'm going to be talking about all the ways he can improve his website, all the areas which are wrong and all the areas that need to be fixed immediately. And again, if you're thinking, oh, well this isn't your website, so why do you need to watch? It's really, really useful information just to see what other people are doing and also to see if you're any at all similar and how you can improve your website based on these ideas that I'm gonna be giving this person. This person is called dirtbike underscore lodge. He is an Instagram person that I came across and he's got around 30,000 followers on Instagram and he's 13 years old. It's ridiculous, it's so, so cool. He's a proper entrepreneur and I absolutely love it that he's doing drop shipping now with Shopify and print on demand and all of that. It's just absolutely brilliant. So without further ado, before I go into the website, before I start giving this website review, I have to tell you, I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm not going to be nice and I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna tell you how it is, right? As you know, I always do. And besides that, as well as that, I should say, if you haven't already subscribed, my name is Shami Morris, I make you know, videos Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday about print on demand, Amazon FBA, making money online. And if you haven't realized, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So if you can help me out, I would really, really appreciate it. And just before we start the video, if you want me to review your website or your, you know, Shopify store or your Teespring storefront or whatever, if you want me to review something of yours, let me know, DM me on Instagram at shimmyoris1 and we can talk about it. So let's get started with the video. This is the homepage. Okay, so there's quite a few things which stood out to me. The first is, just so everyone can see, this is a dirt bike website, right? I assume they're doing, he's doing some sort of just drop shipping of all these random products. If we just have a quick overview of the website, you can see it's just random stuff, goggles, stickers, uh, wheel spokes, skin covers, 112 scale dirt bikes, gloves, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's start with the improvements. Firstly, this logo is blooming awesome. Use it, okay? Put this logo over here and get rid of dirt bike underscore lodge. Just not, just get rid of it. Put the logo here. The next thing is don't ever use the word cheap. So here you can say, well, here at Dirt Bike Lodge, we sell everything, blah, 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 to cheaper, right? Don't use the word cheap or cheaper because it makes you sound bad. Use the word affordable, okay? Or, or you know, something along those lines, but don't use the word cheap because cheap makes you sound cheap and cheap doesn't necessarily, it's not, it's not a good thing. So you want to use a sentence like, um, we have affordable dirt bike models and accessories. Okay, so that's that. The next thing, and this is probably one of the most important things and I completely understand you're 13. This is, this is, this is not like, I understand these issues and like I'm not hitting it hard at you. Like I'm not, I'm not against you here. I'm really, really, impressed and it actually motivated me a lot to see that you've done all of this but another area which you have got to get right and that is spelling okay grammar and spelling so for example well here at dirt bike lodge you would have a comma after well and another that thing accessories it's not how you spell accessories so you have got to go through the entire website get your parents get your older siblings whatever it may be to look through your website and spell check everything you have got to spell check everything it's vital okay it's got to be right spelling now i would get rid of this whole thing in, in general because I find it's a bit ugly. Um, I would get rid of this and I would just have maybe one one like big title and it wouldn't be need new MX gear question mark. It would be, you know, something else, something a bit more interesting. Not, it just that doesn't really, doesn't look good. Okay, right. I've got my notes here, by the way, of everything I've written down. Okay, there's a few more tabs you wanna be doing. You want to have, you've got at the moment a home tab and a catalog tab. You want a third tab, which is shipping tab. At the moment, you've got it here, right? Um, and no, it should not be on your home screen. You want a shipping tab up here, especially now with Corona. You want a fourth tab, which is the story tab. And what I mean by that is you wanna introduce some form of stories. There's a reason you're doing dirt bikes and that kind of thing. You must be into it yourself. Are you into mountain biking? Are you into dirt bikes? So include some form of stories. It's so nice having a website, especially this kind of website where it's 
drop shipping or maybe even print on demand, having a backstory of why you feel you are in that niche. Tell them, be, have the story, be like, I was once on this, you know, dirt bike trip and it was amazing and blah, 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 blah. And that's like a whole story. It's like a little blog. So have uh, a story section and um, it can be called about me. It can be anything like that. But I think just the title story is nice or my story is nice. And then a fifth tab, you want to have a contact me tab. You always want to make sure you're incredibly easy to get hold of because for a buyer, they want to know that they can speak to someone at a moment's notice and not even having a contacts tab anywhere makes that really hard. And I would never buy from a website that doesn't have a contacts tab. Okay. Now don't Okay, so this is a big one. Don't use your Insta handle everywhere. So you can see you've got dirt by underscore lodge, dirt by underscore lodge. Um, you've got it over here, dirt by underscore lodge. Stop using your Instagram handle like this. This is your Instagram handle, but your business name is dirt bike space bar lodge. There's no, there's no underscore. There's no full capitals or no capitals. You need dirt bike with a capital D and then lodge with a capital L. That is your business name. That is the name that should be all over your website. Not this dirt bike underscore lodge. That is just your Instagram name. Okay. Don't confuse the two because it's quite an ugly thing to have on a website. Right. Now your homepage. Okay. So let's talk about your homepage quickly. This is your homepage, right? You've got, it's quite a mess. You want to get rid of all of this, all of this entirely. Okay. You've got, you've got a product here. You've got a product here and you've got this random picture with shipping with COVID-19. You want, you don't want it to look like that. You want it to look like something like this, right? It's going to pop up on the screen now. And you can see from the way it looks like you can have your best selling products here. Maybe you can have like your, your top categories, but you can see how sleek and beautiful that this, this looks. Everything matches, the top images match. You have to make sure it looks good. At the moment, there's a lot of scrolling and I don't see anyone buying anything on the homepage like this. It just doesn't look very appealing. So you have got to fix that. Right now, Right at the bottom, you've got collections here. Okay, firstly, you should have always an even number. So have four collections in one row or find two more collections and have six, but don't just leave two empty here because it's not very aesthetically pleasing. The next thing is you want to have all the images matching. This is really, really important. Images are the single thing that will sell products for you. If you don't have professional photos and you don't necessarily need to take them yourself, but if you don't have professional photos, you will not get sales. It's just, it's just a fact, right? People need to see good photos. You immediately get put off a website when the photos are bad. Okay. Because if they can't, if they think this is people's mentality, if they can't put effort into taking photos of the product, how much effort can they put into actually creating a good product? And then they won't trust your products, even though a lot of this stuff is drop shipped and it's not actually yours. It doesn't matter. So I, I this is fine. Um, Dirt bike slash helmet A4 sticker sheet. No, no, you need to come up with quick, simple titles. Just do stickers, right? And then goggles and then uh, dirt bike grips or just grips and then gloves. Okay, so simple one worded titles like that. And then make sure each image um, is a professional looking image. You can go to some a website called unsplash.com and get professional images that are free to use on your website and just make sure they all match and they look good. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, this all looks a bit haphazard and a bit messy. You want it to look really, really good. Okay. Right now, another, another point, change the word catalog to the word shop. People don't use catalog on a website. It is just a catalog is like a book. It's just, it's a mess. It's not nice. It doesn't look good. Change the word catalog to shop. Okay. And again, I'm sorry if I'm being a bit too, blunt here and being a bit too honest and saying what isn't good and what is good. Um, that is the point of this video. I want you to change these things to make your website better and to get more sales. So make these improvements and you should actually see quite an increase in sales. Okay. So once we're on your products page and that's another confusing thing, you've got catalog here and then products here. So try and, you know, keep it congruent with each other. Right. As I said before, product images are everything. They have got to be amazing, incredible, brilliant, fantastic. Product images mean everything. People can't go and see the product. They have to trust what the product looks like through your images. They have got to be brilliant here. They, I'm sorry. They are not brilliant. Some of these products even have writing on the top of them, like a watermark. This has got watermark. This has got Chinese writing on it. This is got it's just, I'm sorry, you've got to, you've got to, this is like all stretched out. No, you've got to try and make all your product images match. Okay. So 
I think I think that's so all the gloves you'll want to have the same first image and then you want to go through different like close-ups and whatever of the gloves in each product okay the dirt bike image right that's also got to have the same one you only got one dirt bike so that's fine but it's really important that it absolutely and 100% matches okay now the next thing is you want to have categories okay so for example you've got here on this products page you've got gloves you've got bike you've got goggles you've got stickers have categories have a gloves category have goggles category have dirt bike category have categories and then you can do a drop down so when you hover over this it will have a drop down of the different types of products that you actually offer and then they can go to those product category pages it's a lot smoother a lot more uh, it looks a lot nicer and it makes your whole website look a lot fuller so that's that is, I would say, a pretty good tip right there. Right, and lastly, and I, and I really hate to tell you this, um, but you're going to have to redo all of your descriptions. Your descriptions are just not up to scratch. I'm sorry. This doesn't seem to even have a description. You need a description. Um, there was one that I saw which had a description. Okay. You're going to have to do a description, a description. Look at this. Frame material, light, glasses, foldable, easy to wear, to be placed in the bag, full stop, without space, comfort, fit with foam protection around frame, full stop, no space. Um, the, the, this isn't, I understand why you've done this. Maybe you want to do keywords and that's, that's not a bad idea, but it has to make sense. You have to, in the features, in, in, in these bullets, you want to try and relay a, a way of, making them feel like they need your product, right? You've got to try and convey some form of emotion here that triggers them to want to buy your product. At the moment, this is just difficult to read and no one would read this. You've got to be like, you know, uh, off the top of my head, you wanna, you wanna say something like, have you ever snowboarded down, or so this is dirt bikes or whatever, these can be used for both. But I don't know, have you ever got dirt in your eyes whilst you're, you're dirt biking and you need to, and you just couldn't find that perfect goggle? Well, here is that perfect goggle. And the reason for it is these goggles are, and then you list all the qualities, the dust proof, the this proof, the, 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 they don't fog up, whatever they may be. And then you can then talk about another benefit, which is the fact they fold up. And then you can say something along the lines of um, ever feel like, carrying cumbersome large goggles is very annoying for you. Well, don't worry, these goggles fully fold up. They're easy to pack, easy to handle, easy to put in your backpack. This is how you wanna write your bullets, okay? You don't wanna write your bullets just by using a large group of keywords all bunched together, which make no sense. That is my review of your website, okay? Now, this is quite cool, you may also like. Um, the share, tweet, and pin it is great. If you can go through this website, take on everything I've said, try and change everything that I've said, see how that makes a difference to your sales. I genuinely think it will make a very big difference. And if you are watching this and you're like, and you're, and you're thinking, how can this, you know, relate back to me? Well, take these points into account for your website. All the points I've said work across all different types of websites for everyone, okay? So take these points into account and see how you can watch this video, look at your website and see where there is improvements for you as well. And if you want me to make this kind of a video for you, this very detailed video where I look at your product, at your website and actually break it down for you, then let me know either in the comments or more, I would prefer if you let me know in my Instagram account and we can discuss me actually doing this for you. Now I've just actually noticed these product pages, it says view on Amazon. So this I assume will take you to Amazon and this must be a form of um, like just an Amazon, you know, where you can be an Amazon affiliate and I don't know if they're all like this. Are they all like this? No, so this is an add to cart. So this must be a drop shipping product right here. So you can see, you can go and add it to your cart. You can check out, you can pay with all these different forms of payment. That's brilliant. Okay, you can click check out. And yeah, nice, okay, and shipping is gonna be calculated at the next step. I assume shipping will be quite expensive if it's been drop shipped. But either way, look, you've done a great job. You're 13 years old, I'm proper impressed with you. You've built a humongous Instagram following, well done for that. Before you launch this website to them, make sure this website looks absolutely brilliant because first impressions mean everything and you do not want your website to get a really bad first impression because people will not come back when you then post more links and more products on your Instagram page. So make sure you try and make all these changes 
and yeah, we'll be good to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a really, really cool one coming on Thursday. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that you'll be the first to watch it. And as normal, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.